we're learning more tonight about the man who opened fire on North Liberty Police. The shootout left the gunman dead and three officers hurt. It all started just before 6 o'clock last night when police responded to a domestic disturbance at a mobile home on Holiday Lodge Road. According to the Johnson County Sheriff, officers made contact with 28-year-old Talib Salome and his girlfriend. The situation quickly escalated, gunfire was exchanged, and Salome was killed. Tonight, the Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation is taking a closer look at the case. Here at CBS2, we're taking a closer look at Salome's criminal background. CBS2's David Sklanlin live in North Liberty, where the crime scene looked like was still taped off behind you, David. That's right, Tiffany. There are still signs of last night's shooting here on scene. Like you said, you can see crime tape is still wrapped around this home. And just beyond that, there are bullet holes and broken glass where Salome opened fire on police from inside. I see seven, six, seven shots. That's a lot. Signs of a shootout that left three North Liberty police officers injured, a gunman dead, and shook a neighborhood to its core. I'm scared because I don't know who is my neighbor. Her neighbor, Talib Salome, is the man who exchanged fire with police, a graduate student at the University of Iowa, where administrators feared what Salome would do with a weapon. We got a hold of these university records from 2010. In them, Associate Vice President for Student Services David Grady expressed serious reservations about Salome applying to purchase a handgun. U of I officials had learned Salome was seeing a psychiatrist and had a checkered criminal history, including an assault charge on a fellow student. Johnson County Sheriff Lonnie Pokrovic tells me that Salome's permit to acquire expired in 2012, but that didn't stop him from using a gun here Sunday night. Salome's work for the university suggests he was a promising student who researched in the School of Engineering. Neighbors say they'd seen police here before, but nothing like this. Now many are left to wonder what triggered Salome to snap. Certainly this makes you really think more about where you're at and how safe the neighborhood is and so on. Now, the female victim involved in the shooting was not harmed, and all three officers have been treated and released. Covering the corridor in North Liberty, David Scanlon, CBS 2 News.